Hello, this is Kelly Antone, HMI and SCADA Specialist with PCC. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to take advantage of using the fixed window area as well as screen templates on a Siemens comfort panel. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my project tree and expand out the screens area. In that screens area, you'll see that there's one default screen that's included automatically and it's called screen underscore one. I am going to right click on this screen and I'm going to change its name and I'm going to call it home because that is going to be kind of our starting point for our application. That little green arrow indicates that that is the default um, or the first screen that will be showed when you start your runtime application. Uh, for this example, I'm going to need to add in another screen. So the way that I can do that is I can double click on add new screen. This will add in a new screen in my application. So now in addition to home, I will have screen underscore one. I can change the name in the project tree by right clicking rename, or I can come down to the properties of that screen and I can change the name down here. And I'm gonna rename this screen and call it toolbox, which will be used in a later lesson. Now, <clears throat> once I have the two screens created, the next thing that I would like to do is establish my fixed window area. Now, I highly recommend that you do this at the start of your HMI project. It just makes things much easier because what you're gonna do is position your cursor up at the top of your um, toolbar because there's only one area where that fixed window screen can be located. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drag down a little bit. And when I drag down that line, now you can see there's two distinct areas um, within my particular screen. So that area at the top is considered the fixed window. The area down below is considered the template area. The fixed window area is going to show up on every single screen in your application. The template area will be utilized based on whether you choose to use a template or not use a template. So one of the things that I recommend uh, within the fixed window area is to change the background color to maybe something a little bit different, just so that you can easily distinguish between the template area and then the fixed window area in your application. You can also, instead of doing the drag of the, the side of the fixed window, you can use, utilize the layout area right here. And you know, say I wanted this window to be a little bit smaller, okay? I can manually adjust it that way as well. So now I have the fixed window uh, part established within my application. What I'm going to do is just very quickly under the element section in my toolbox is I'm gonna put a date and time field into the fixed window area. When I drop this into my application, that date and time object will show up on every single screen within my project. The next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a text field out of the basic objects area, and I'm just gonna give my um, application a title. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna call this one my WinCC Comfort Panel Project. Okay. So then now I have some text as far as the title goes. The other thing that I like to do uh, when I'm experimenting, all right, is actually is I would like to put a button on the, my screen that will allow me to exit the application. So what I'm going to do is under elements, I'm just going to take a regular button object, okay, and I'm going to draw that out onto the screen. You can see that the text is already highlighted, so I can type in, you know, a title or the text for this particular button, and it is going to be uh, considered an exit button. Now, what I'm going to do is once that button is selected, I am going to select the events tab and I'm going to select the press event. Now, I know that there is a function that is available that is called stop runtime. So, in the add function area, I can start typing in the word stop and then it will expose by IntelliSense the actual stop runtime function. So, I will select that app or select that function. So now when we press that exit button during runtime, it will shut down the runtime system on the actual HMI. So we've got the fixed window area defined, so that will show up on you know, every single screen. Okay, so if I go to my home screen, you can see by the title bar I opened up the home, that information's there. If I go to my toolbox screen, that same information is present as well. So now that my toolbox screen is open, I will take a text object and I'm just going to put that in the upper right hand corner and I'm going to call this one my toolbox screen. Okay, so that I can very easily distinguish which screen is which. I do have the ability to copy and paste between screens, so I can just right click on my text object, select copy, go to home, so I'll double click on home, 
right click paste now I've got that text object on the screen I can just double click it and I can call this one my home screen so now I've got text to distinguish between the different screens in my in my project the next thing I would like to do is take advantage of the template area so the way that I can create a template is I can expand out the screen management area in the project tree and then there's a section called templates so I will expand out templates when I expand out templates, you will see that there's one template in there that, that is already created that's called template underscore one. That's just the generic name. You can have as many templates as you would like in the project. What I'm going to do is right click on this one and I'm going to call it SCR NAV for screen navigation. So that is going to be my navigation template. Now, as of right now, in the title bar, you can see that the home screen is open. So to edit or work on the template, I would need to double click on screen nav, and then that will open up the navigation, um, or I should say the screen navigation template. And if I scroll down towards the bottom here, right, so I can see my entire HMI screen, there are no objects on the screen for the screen navigation template. Now, what I would like to do is I'd like to take the home screen here, and if I drag this from my project tree onto this template and just position it down in the lower left-hand corner, that is going to give me a button that would allow me that already has the uh, function to navigate to this screen. I can also take and drag the toolbox button onto the screen. This will now have the, the function that's already assigned. So you can see each one of these buttons, it has the activate screen function assigned to toolbox. If I select the home button, it's going to have the activate screen for home. So that's how you would manually uh, switch screens as well. So you can just pick the activate screen function and assign it to a button, a button event. Once you have these two objects, or these objects on the screen navigation template, I can go and open up the home screen. And if I look at the home screen, you will notice that there are no objects on the template screen. Now what I can do very simply is take the screen navigation, drag it into the background, and if I look at the properties for the home screen down below, I just assign screen nav okay, to that. Now you'll see when the home screen is visible, the home and toolbox buttons are showing kind of translucent. That's indicating that those buttons are actually reside on an actual template screen. So now I'm going to go to my toolbox screen. So I'll open up the toolbox screen. And if I look at this screen, you'll see that there are no navigation buttons that are available here. You can also come down into the template area and select the button for browsing. And then here you can browse for your screen navigation template as well. And as soon as I assign the screen navigation template to this screen, now you will see those buttons show up in a translucent manner. So the next thing I'm going to do is start the simulation so that I can test my particular project. So I will highlight my HMI. Up on the toolbar where my cursor is, you can see that there is a button that's called Start Simulation. So when I take the Start Simulation button, or I'm sorry, when I press the Start Simulation button, this will start the runtime. So it's going to compile my project. You can see that the status is compiling down below, and it will bring up the runtime screen. So now I'm on the home screen, you know, indicated by the text. If I press my toolbox screen, I'm on the toolbox screen, press home, I can go back, and you notice that the fixed window area shows up on every screen, and when I'm finished, I can press the exit button, and then that will shut down the runtime software. So in this lesson, I showed you how to take advantage of using the fixed window area, as well as using a screen template.